And then for your soil mix, right? What's in it? Like, what did you do to begin? Oh, uh, well, I, I kind of cheated again. I went straight through Bill of Soil and I got their take and bake recipe. I said, if I'm going to do this, you know, not knowing much about organics at all, but, you know, I thought just kind of learn as I go. Um, so I got the best balanced recipes and that's what I've learned from watching the YouTube series. And um, it's it's great. It's it's the classic coots mix, the artesian soil. Um, it's it's got everything in it. Your your aeration. It's the one to one to one ratio. Your your base, your compost, and your aeration. So it's got worm castings in it. Um, biochar with root wise uh, inoculated. Um, it's got pumice, rice holes, um, sphagnum peat moss. And that was where I struggled too, was the sphagnum peat moss because it's hydrophobic. And I, I just gave this thing this much water. How is it still thirsty? So that was a struggle there. So you said it's a take and bake mix, which is Clademus Coot, one to one to one. So you've got your one part peat you're using for the aeration, using both pumice and rice hulls. And then you've got everything else, worm castings, biochar, like you mentioned. So pretty straightforward there. And how long does that last you, right? So you got to imagine that there's some nutrition in there. Uh, actually, is there any other additional amendments in there as well for fertilizer? Yeah, there's, um, it's the build a soil mineral kit. Okay. It's got like your basalt and oyster shell. Um, and then the Clactomus Coots um, nutrients. So what he used in his, the kelp, the karanja. Um, so yeah, it, it's for the first uh, run I did, I only would give it, you know, some, I gave it some root wise at the beginning and then I would give it some ferments or I threw in your guys' stash blend. Um, I mean, I didn't have any issues. I'm on my second run now and I'm about week six of flower and I did the same thing. I didn't, well, I reamended my fault. I did reamend after that first run, which is the build soil way. I didn't do no soil test. I gave it your compost or your compost, build a flower. Uh, worm castings and that pretty much planted right into that and started again and now I'm in week six of flower and just giving it treats on the weekend and it's crushing so and I did break down an order of soil test I think I am going to get one after the second run just to make sure you know my I haven't tested my water so I don't know if I have a sodium buildup or you know just to kind of learn the whole process and how you go amending um, which is cool that they offer this now. They have consultants, so you can meet with the soil doctor or uh, Zach Branson and actually work with them and kind of figure out what this soil test is saying because I've looked them up online and they're they are beyond me. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products.